this past summer we had a an explosion of the LDD population in Newmarket and the caterpillars ate a lot of the leaves on a lot of the trees and the next stage of their life cycle is where we are right now the next stage are the egg masses there's an egg mass right there the egg masses are laid at the end of the summer and stay on the, the trees until next spring when they hatch for next year's population the benefit that we have right now is we have a long time frame where we can help mitigate that help reduce the population for next year the easiest way to do that is by removing the egg masses it's a simple process and all you need is a, a scraping tool and a container to catch it in all you have to do is locate the egg mass here's an egg mass right here there's an egg mass there I have other other sticks with egg masses on them all you have to do is place a container under the egg mass take the scraping tool and remove the egg mass into the container once you've done that a bit awkward from this but once you've done that you soak the egg mass in dish soap and water for 48 hours and that will kill all the eggs in it and then you can dispose of it after that um, the egg masses typically are at the base of trees at the lowest about 30 to 60 centimeters off the ground around the base of trees they're on the underside of large branches and in crevices and, and cracks within a tree they like to lay them there for protection from the elements and have a, a better success rate for hatching next year one thing we're suggesting residents to do this year is to rake up all their leaves they will also lay their egg masses on directly on the leaves so we're suggesting to rake up all the leaves and dispose of them in yard waste bags as opposed to mulching them with their lawnmower if they mulch the leaves that have egg masses on them they're not destroying them they're just kind of spreading them around their lawn they rake them up and dispose of them in, in yard waste bags they'll be disposed of uh, yeah the other <clears throat> we've been told a couple of times that people are taking pressure washers and just hosing them off of the tree we're highly suggesting against that because all that's doing is again removing them from one location and putting them on the ground with them being on the ground the success rate yeah. has the potential of actually being high to, uh, the snow can can cover them and insulate them yeah. and protect them from the cold so them being on the ground as opposed to on the tree the success rate has a potential of being high that's about all I have to say for the egg mass removal. Um, this is just one step in the process to protect a tree. It's helpful now because each egg mass has between 100 and 1,000 eggs in it. So removing one egg mass is the same as, as removing 100 to 1,000 caterpillars. You won't be able to get them all out of a tree. So the next step that happens in the spring is burlap banding the tree so that any eggs that hatch and turn into caterpillars have the potential to be removed from the, the burlap banding process. And that's about it.